What's up, guys? I have a quick update. Just wanted to clarify something from uh, or answer some of the things that I posted about earlier. So you guys saw my uh, pouring wounds here. So I did find some bandage solutions. Instead of having like a, a big sticky band-aid that sticks to your skin and will pull your skin off because it will, because it's pulled all my skin off and has been hurting. We went to the, um, me and my girlfriend went to the medical supply store from Avera as our local like hospital thing. It, it doesn't matter who the company is, but just go to your medical supply store. But we found, this is from 3M and it's called Medi, Medipore cloth bandage. It's not a bandage. Medipore cloth adhesive. It's just a roll of, of adhesive tape and it's very, like you can look at it, it's very porous. It has a lot of little divots in it and it's really good um, about not sticking too much. That's what I've been using. You can cut off the size strips that you need. And the other things are these Band-Aid triple layer non-stick compression pads and they're just the right size. And so I stick the compression pad here and then I put a piece of tape across it and it seems to be doing really well with not sticking to my skin so it doesn't hurt. Which believe me is a big issue. I still have lots of destroyed skin from pulling those other band-aids off and I probably only pulled five or six off and it just ripped my skin to hell. So that's one thing. I wanted to address that. That's a solution. It seems to be working really good. Secondly, today something weird happened. In this incision here, I was rubbing my hand up and down because it itches and instead of scratch it, I was like rubbing and when I rub down, nothing. But when I rub up, I felt this little stick and what it is, it was a stitch. I could see it. It's a real clear stitch in it. I mean, I can't even describe how small it is. It was like a millimeter or something or a centimeter. It was super small. But it was, bit, it was enough of it sticking out, like a little bit of a whisker. It was enough to stick out to like catch my finger and catch my shirt. So I'd feel my shirt move and pull it and it would just be like bother. So what I did was, and this is what I recommend you do, you definitely don't want to get tweezers or anything like that, but get some flat. If you, look, if you can see this, it's really flat. It doesn't have that curve. Some, some of them, like this one, have the curve. Use the flat ones because you can, you're better at gauging you know, where it's at. You don't want to come in and pinch your skin or pinch the wound. So I just came down on it really, really, really close and like watch you know, as, as good as I could and I could see I grab it and then I snipped it. Don't snip it and, and pull to test because you don't want to really screw with that wound. But as soon as you know it's on that, just snip it. Because that little bit sticking out isn't helping to anchor it and you don't want to mess with the insides at all. Um, and I think they're dissolvable anyways, but if they're sticking out of one of your trocars, like if you find one over here on your side or you know over here, if it's bothersome just snip it off. So I feel better today. I've walked twice. I feel like I have a little bit more energy even though I don't eat more. I think my body is adapted into burning fat for fuel. Um, mood's pretty good. I have a new haircut. You can't tell though because I took a nap. I just got it from a nap so I've got like sleep hair. But um, it's a new haircut and new bandages. Maybe go to the movies tonight with my son. I don't know. Just trying to take it one day at a time. I'm, I'm down 20 pounds actually from surgery. So I seem to be losing two to three pounds a day at this point. I know that'll stop. I know that's just the beginning and that's cool. And, and honestly, I'm not even like celebrating that. I'm, I'm really more celebrating healing, feeling better. That's what I'm focusing my energy on more. I've drank, I'm drinking more water and um, maybe it's making a difference. Sorry for all the shakiness. Till next time.